You might remember that I reviewed Leviathan all the way back in Season 1. Poorly. Look, it was a different time on YouTube back then, and there wasn't as much demand to be, you know, good. In any event, Leviathan is a movie I've watched many times over the years, and with Shout Factory's new Blu-ray release, I thought it would be fun to revisit it. You probably know a lot about Leviathan by now. It came out during the big year of underwater monster movies, along with others like Deep Star 6 and The Abyss. It features a solid cast battling a genetic mutation brought aboard their underwater worksite after they discover a destroyed Russian ship. Despite the unique setting, Leviathan is clearly a rehash of better films like Alien and The Thing. Again, these are all things I and others have said over time, so let's talk about some things I haven't said publicly about Leviathan. It's odd that much is made in the first act about Peter Weller's character being new to management, but this has no bearing during the rest of the film. Eventually he takes charge because he's Peter fucking Weller and takes care of business. Now, despite how many times I've seen Leviathan over the years, I never noticed this shot until just now. That's clearly the remains of what was attacking the Russian crew. It's a cool visual, and oddly enough, no one in the film ever mentions it. Speaking of visuals, I don't think the production design of Leviathan gets enough credit. The indoor sets are pretty convincing, and even the fake underwater shots look real enough to me. Hell, I didn't even know it was faked until just recently while watching the extras on this disc. Also, the way the survivors battle the monster near the end just using whatever tools they have available to them is smart, and it's something the video game Dead Space did so well many years later. The actual production is a little sloppy in places, though. Edits are made when someone is clearly in mid-sentence, and there are times that you can see that someone is still delivering dialogue, but the sound has been removed in favor of silence. Also, it's confusing as to what the monster is, or even where it is, or how many of them there are, since it just pops up whenever the scene deems it necessary, and even then you usually only see a brief glimpse of a small part of the creature. The finale is still pretty infuriating, however, when it kills off Ernie Hudson for no good reason. Watching the scene again, it seems pretty clear that Hudson was none too pleased about this either, as he seems distant about everything going on around him. Well, during the interviews on the new Blu-ray, Hudson does in fact say that he had words with the director over this ending and how utterly pointless it was. But also, he admittedly is not the best swimmer, so his awkward appearance during his final moments were more likely just discomfort than anything else. Now, in addition to Hudson's interview, which the back of the case fails to even mention is on the dead, Hector Elizondo and much of the effects crew are also on hand to give their insights into the making of Leviathan. They all pretty much have the same story to tell. The director was crazy, he and Stan Winston butted heads on several occasions, and the rushed production led to some disappointing effects work that is barely seen in the final cut anyway. One of the effects crew sums up Leviathan pretty well by saying it's by no means great, but it's also not so bad that you embrace it in that way either. I agree with that. I enjoy watching it, but always wish it was so much more. I mean, this is a movie that's prime for for a remake, if there ever was one. Cause I mean, how are the underwater monster movies these days? Oh, there aren't any? Okay then, Leviathan is okay by me.